Hi guys, it's Sid and welcome back. I'm in Minnesota right now, if you couldn't tell by my old room. And since it's so warm outside, there's snow on the ground. I thought it'd be fun to film a bikini haul actually more like my bikini collection. The other day, I just really realized how many swimsuits I own. And I kind of got a little scared for how many that I own because it feels unnecessary. And it almost feels like I'm a hoarder. Let me just show you guys. I have them all right here. But here's the thing. I will say I have collected these swimsuits over the past several years, so I think bikini hauls are fun though. I feel like I get bored of swimsuits pretty easily and I'm gonna link them all in the description box for you guys if you want any of these. I don't know what in my brain tells me that I'm not allowed to wear a bikini twice because that's completely unrealistic and I don't know why I think that way. And honestly, I need help for that because that's just messed up. I'm literally just gonna start from the top of the pile. This is my green chevron bikini. I remember seeing this on the website a couple years ago from Garage and I was like, I love this. The bottoms are also super cute because I feel like they're the perfect amount of cheeky. There is an art to the cheekiness of a bikini, it's kind of hard to get it exactly right and these ones fit me perfectly. This next one is this brown bikini, also from Garage. This one might look simple when you first look at it, but the bottoms are actually what make this one really fun. So it has these extra little ties at the front and essentially you wrap it around your waist. It took me a couple tries to like figure out how to do it, but once you get it, it looks so flattering on. And I have no other swimsuits like it, so it's definitely one that I'm gonna keep around for a while. I also have this blue bikini. This one has this floral cutout print to it and it's super dainty. I feel like this is a staple too. The one thing about this is that there is no padding in it. And I know it's kind of like a personal preference, but if you're like me, I really prefer padding. I feel like it just makes everything look a little bit better and supported. I also got this basically identical bikini, but it's just plain black. The bottoms are really high-waisted, which I prefer. And then again, the top has this little knot in the front. What next? What next? Oh, wait. This one is so cute. I just bought this actually. I actually just posted this on Instagram too the other day. I will say I'm pretty heavily influenced, especially by Kendall Jenner. I love her style. And I saw this bikini on her and I thought it was so pretty. It's this tie-dye blue, green, and purple one. And then I also love it because it came with a little skirt cover-up, which I didn't even realize until I got it, which I love little cover-ups like this. I know we spoke about cheeky swimwear and how there is a ratio for that. And I just got gifted this bikini from Boutine Los Angeles. This is the, the cheekiest swimsuit I've ever seen. And then the top is this little triangle top again very tiny, but I'm definitely not trying to hate on it because I really do like it. The quality is so good. I just wish it was a little bit more coverage, which I feel like I do not say often, but this one's pretty out there. So if you like really cheeky stuff, then definitely go check out their pieces. I do have a special place in my heart for one pieces. I like that because I just don't have to worry. You know, if I'm on vacation with the fam, if I don't want to something to slip out, <laughs> I will opt for one of these. Also, I feel like one pieces do get hate sometimes and they shouldn't because they can be super cute. The first one is this adorable little chevron one piece. Like the pattern looks like a picnic to me in my head for some reason. I also have this one from 437 Swimwear. They have really good quality swim pieces. This one cinches at the sides, which makes it look super flattering. And the color to it is super summery. I feel like it's only right for me to move on to Princess Polly. This is because I placed a pretty big order with them last week. I really don't know why I did this, considering I was just saying how I have an excess amount of bikinis and that I'm a hoarder. This first one reminded me of a European summer trip to Italy. And I really don't know why. Maybe it's the stripes, maybe it's the colors, I don't know. And then it has the strings on the sides. Let me know, I'm actually curious. Do you guys like it better when your bikinis have like the string sides or when it's like actually the material? I feel like I prefer material over string. This one, I'm really excited. This one looked so fun online. It's this multi-purple color bikini. And what I love is like the heart in the middle. That's like, I feel like what got me on this. Wow, I actually really like this in person. This is so pretty and fun. And then the bottoms are the same pattern, 
Wow, this seems really small. But I do really love the pattern, so hopefully I can make this work. I also got this one, very different than the other two. This is a fellow one piece. You know I love a good one piece. This one is a kind of cheeky one piece. It has a cutout in the middle and the sides are like incredibly high-waisted. I feel like these are the highest waisted bikini bottoms or swimsuit bottoms I've seen in a long time. I feel like on my Pinterest, oh my god, speaking of Pinterest, I got banned on Pinterest. Can we talk about that? I literally just found out right before I filmed this video that I got banned for inappropriate content. Like, excuse, what? When I had my Pinterest, before I got banned, I had been seeing like floral patterns like this and I had a lot of this saved. And then the last bikini I got from them is this butterfly one. It's blue and green. And I honestly, I don't wanna say I regret this, but I sort of regret this. I feel like it's just way too similar to my tie-dye one. Why did I buy this? I don't know. The bottoms obviously are the same pattern, but the strings are really interesting on this. It's almost like a shoelace string. I had to move because that lighting was just not doing it. Let's just talk about Target for a second. I'm very thankful for Target for many reasons. Um, and one of those reasons is their swimsuits. I feel like they have a pretty good selection every year. This first one is this tie-dye looking bikini top. Again, kind of similar to one of the ones I already showed, but the bottoms are also actually pretty full coverage as well. At least for me, like they're not at all cheeky, which again, like sometimes you want something like this, the more I look at it, it looks like a weather report. I love this next one. It's very, I was gonna say ditzy. It's dainty, not ditzy. It's this floral bikini. And again, the bottoms are definitely more fuller coverage. And then the top is fun because it's the same print, but it has this ruffle style edging. Really pretty, really dainty. This next one is kind of different, but I've had it for a while for some reason, just cause I feel like it's cool. It's this dark green and black tiger. I was gonna say cheetah, tiger. Print. <laughs> this one I just feel like is pretty unique compared to the other ones I have. Something I feel like every girl needs is a black and white little wraparound mesh skirt. This is made for specifically like when you wear a swimsuit. I have one in black and in white. I'm pretty sure you can get these on Amazon. It's just nice to have because these will go with any swimsuit that you have. I also have this specifically for swimsuits. This is a super cropped button down top. This next one's kind of wild, but I like it. So it's this pink like cheetah print one. The only issue I have with this is it is kind of like wide in the middle. Like I do sometimes get a little worried wearing it, but I haven't had any issues yet. This one's also super fun. To be fair, I do feel like this pattern was more of a trend like two years ago, but it's that multicolored heart pattern. I don't know if you guys like know what I'm talking about. I feel like people have phone cases like this. The top for some reason on this also like really holds everything together well. This next one really, really reminds me of the Flintstones and I cannot not think about that every time I put this on. It's this straight across bikini and then the bottoms are the same thing. The last one I have is this and unfortunately it's kind of tragic because I did lose the bottoms. So all I have is the top and the little skirt thing to go with it. It's this sparkly mesh bikini. I have nothing like this and I think the top is so unique with the way it's cut out. But those are all the swimsuits that I have to share with you guys. I know it was a lot, so thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, I'll leave links to everything down below, so if you guys wanna check any of these out, it'll hopefully be super easy. But I love you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye guys.